What's up guys? So finally uh, had an easy day today. Actually finished up uh, about an hour before the end of the day. So found some time to finally get you guys that 2019 toolbox tour. Doing this uh, tour for a couple reasons. Obviously I've been telling you guys I'm going to do it. I've been wanting to do it for multiple reasons. Obviously, you know, toolbox tours are awesome. I watch people's toolbox tours to get, you know, organization ideas you know, uh, tool ideas, kind of go through people's tools to see if they have any tools that I may need. But you guys see any tools, I kind of keep it brief. I mean, it's going to be a longer video because obviously you guys know the channel, you know, the box is pretty big. Um, but basically kind of just want to take you guys through some of the new stuff, some of the new uh, organization things. I know I still owe you guys a, uh, a socket drawer. I know you, I still owe you guys a couple more organization videos. We'll get around to them, but you'll be able to see the before kind of what I'm working with and then uh, compare it to the after when we get around to it. But sit back, grab the popcorn, let's get at this. Shut up and sit down. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to run through it kind of same way we did before. We'll start from that side, kind of work our way this way. I'm not going to be able to go through every single thing. So like I said, you guys see something. If I briefly go over it, leave me the timestamp. I'll try my best to get to you and let you know, you know what it is, part number, maybe things, if I remember where I got it from and all that stuff. I've heard it all, guys. Any of you new guys watching the video, I own the shop. I need the toolbox. Where I put my tools is where I want the stuff to be. Um, you know, the stuff in my toolbox I use. Or else I wouldn't have it in my toolbox. It might, some of the stuff I might not use on a daily, but I have it because I bought it because I needed it. So answer any questions, kind of <clears throat> nip anything in the butt that you guys may hear. Yes, if the Snap-on needs a tool that he doesn't have on the truck, he calls me because I probably have it. Um, what else have I heard? My kids are going to Harvard, and so it's probably my Snap-on guys. I still have money left over even after buying it. I do own the box. I do own the shop. Um, I've heard it all. I mean, it, it, is what, it is what it is. Let's get that out of the way. We're doing the toolbox tour for a toolbox tour. The mega ultimate YouTube toolbox is about to be toured. So let's do it, guys. So starting off with the right locker, we're going to open up. Um, obviously, the same thing. I got left and right lockers, <coughs> stand-up lockers. I got... The overheads up top, I want to say those are 60s. We got a 60 uh, top, a 60 bottom, epic bottom. We got the 84 with the power drawer, the old school one with the power drawer that I personally like more because um, this box is a couple of years old. The model is probably, I don't know, three years old or so. And then we got the overhead workstation. <clears throat> so let's get into it. Every drawer that opens, the overheads and the lockers, you know, the lights automatically go on. I did a, did a video a few months back on that one. You guys check it out. Maybe I'll leave a card. You guys want to check it out how I did it. DIY lighting. But got the door. Showed you guys the mods, putting the bungees on there. But first one here, I got to keep the bench tennis batteries here. Try to keep these charged. I alternate them. Um, just some backup batteries. They do the job. Um, extra butane, propane, all that st good stuff. Um, I even got some cooking propane, but it works. Uh, some of the tools you guys have seen, I've done re either reviews on them. If you guys do see tools that uh, I haven't reviewed, leave it down in the comments. We'll get around to them. <clears throat> but this is this one. I got my extra plugs, charging plugs for all the, the tools I have and all that stuff. Keep it easy reach. These things do slide out. But that's the top one there. This bottom one is sort of like a catch-all. Uh, the small stuff you kind of, you know, want to get to, you want to be able to see, and just kind of my helping hand stuff. Try to keep it organized. You know, rivets. I keep these little containers to keep stuff in, bolts, any kind of wires, any kind of jobs I was doing. Um, some of my old lighting and stuff like that. But, and then baggies, I keep parts in. If I'm taking apart fasteners to a car and I got to wait on parts, I'll use the bags for it. Stuff like that. Air protection in here. Cool stuff. A lot of my old keys. <clears throat> Full sets. 
I actually ended up changing all the keys over on the toolbox to one, one main key because I didn't want to have 36 different keys to uh, open these things up when I do lock it. Next one down, one of my favorite shelves. Obviously these uh, soft cases, we'll kind of go through them. You know, most of the newer snap-on stuff will kind of go through guys. Um, and a nice organization tip, you know, obviously if they don't have it on there, instead of unzipping them every time, I leave them unzipped, but instead of unzipping them, they all look the same. You know, I just put the partner on the side. I'll show you guys kind of how I do it when they don't come with them. But this one, snap-on battery tester. We got a newer one, great tool, TPMS tool. This one did come with a little tag on the side. And then we got uh, my little kit that I made. You guys see this on my Instagram. I did a post on this a couple weeks ago. And then just kind of some of the, uh, give me a heads up what's in that one. And then I got the uh, digital multimeter. Great, great meter. I uh, scratched it up. I dropped it the other day using it. I've been using it a lot lately and I dropped it. I was kind of bummed out about it. Scratched the side of it in the screen. Um, actually, I think it might just be a screen protector. But on this one, it didn't have the label. So all I did was just cut a piece out of the, uh, the booklet here. Cut a piece out of the instruction manual and then just stuck it on there. You can see. And then the last one, obviously the multi-probe. You guys seen it, great tool. Use this one an awful lot too. Uh, little clipboard I used to write on. We got the Snap-on, the newest Snap-on digital camera. I got my uh, battery jumper I got from Interstate. We got a tool that we did on a giveaway that was never given away. We might return back to that one. And then I keep my little, uh, my little case here with obviously extra, uh, everybody has these. If you don't, get them. They're great to have. Little stoppers and all that stuff. So, all right guys, this next one. It's pretty much knives, my glue guns in here, um, you know, little tiny dash tools, stuff I don't, battery tools I kind of don't use, but if I have to, you know, I do. They're still good. Haven't uh, did anything with them because I have the room to still have them. Uh, quick, I uh, think I got this, this is a snap on, just to shoot die in there. Razor blades, I got the, both sets of the, uh, I got the new and the older soldering, uh, Iron, the Torch 400, TPMS tools, Ford, GM, Nissan, other little bits in there, lighters and things like that, torches really. This next one, a lot of specialty stuff. Um, yes, all these tools have been open, but you know, these are kind of like the clamshell packing where you could reshut them, and I'd rather have them in a holded case than just bouncing around the drawer, so that's why they're in there. This one, like I said, Pittman arm tool. I got a couple of them, but I had to use this because it was a lower profile, so I ended up getting that. Uh, pulley puller, steering wheel puller. I got a bunch of them, um, different size ones. This is one of the thicker ones. Uh, GM and Hyundai steering wheel, older steering wheel puller. Ford uh, timing tensioner tools, or Ford timing tools. Obviously my lapping tools, magnets belt tool, a new belt tool. I lost my last one. A lot of Lyle stuff. AC sniffers. I've showed you guys in other videos. These nice Lyle tool uh, hold up the windows instead of using tape. I tend to use tape sometimes still even with these. I don't really trust these sometimes but they have worked good. Window hasn't fallen on me yet. So a great tool. Next one. Pretty much Dremel. Got my Dremel drawer. Um, some bits for the battery power. Uh, I got the Milwaukee battery power. I got a little kit here for uh, fittings. You never know when a bleeder is going to strip out on you. You got to change them out. So I keep those in there. AC, little AC kit for a 134. And then obviously the fluid combust for the head gasket testing tool. I don't fully trust that tool either. There's other ways of testing for bad head gaskets. Uh, brake tool, don't use that too much anymore, but still got it. 
and then I got a bunch of these little saw blades here that uh, the company sent me. Great stuff. Use it for metal and all that. This one, fuel pressure tester and injector cleaner, great kit. Still use this one a lot. I got the uh, I got the tank for it up there, but got the gauges in here. A lot of the fittings that I use. Nice kit. I think this is made by uh, OTC, I want to say. Can't remember. I went to clean the box one day and I cleaned off the name, so I labeled it there. Another great way of uh, organizing. Got my red caps. Some of the stuff I got, old transes. I think some of this is a kit that I got. I had gotten seal, seal driver, obviously speaker wire. Gotta have speaker wire and a Bluetooth speaker too. The door, just fluids, same stuff, measuring stuff. Got my uh, stethoscope and then also the vacuum stethoscope, mostly for noise and hissing and things like that. Safety glasses, more box cutters, temperature uh, probes. But that's the locker, locker down. This first touch is pretty much a catch-all. Um, got the glues, a lot of, uh, all my bags are kind of back there. My four gas analyzer that I don't use anymore. I'll actually be upgrading to the, uh, the snap on five gas analyzer. Um, but you can see a lot of the, another segment of the channel, the as seen on TV tools. You can see some of the up and coming. We got, spoiler alert, sneak peek there. The famous uh, Helping Techs cheese ball container. Never get rid of that. We got the you know hub tool. Yes, I have a display of uh, safety glasses. I like a variety, but they're all different kind as you can see. Welding, cutting, AC, regular safety ones, little tinted ones. Got a Harbor Freight hood light here. Still works, still decent. I also got the snap-on one hanging on the side here though. That's my go-to pretty much hood light, but I just recently got that one. That's the cleaner I use to clean the box. Got a battery, old battery, Mako battery tester there, an analyzer, great tool. Little welder, take home welder if I ever need to tack weld something outside or you know something away from the, uh, the 220 outlet it's that runs on 110 or whatever it is. Everybody's got to have the tubble towels in their uh, box. Got a lockout kit in here, little wedges, the airbag to pump the door open. It's good stuff. And then I got an AC uh, hose in there and a little buffer and then just some old random lights in there that still work. You guys know my famous snap-on hood light also I use. So that's one overhead hutch. And then coming down to the top part of the 60 Epic, still got my zip tie drawer. Got the lighters in here. Some of them work, some of them don't. I use it for sparks when I'm using a torch whatever I can get to fast enough. Got my industrial scissors, some uh, old wheel locks from uh, throwaway locks or ones that you know I forgot to put in back in a customer's car. Still have them around in case they need them. I've actually found one that worked on a different car not too long ago either. Amazing. Uh, this drawer for my zip ties. Got to re-up on some of them. This next one, I would probably call this my one and only junk drawer. Um, I actually, I'm getting better guys. I'm cleaning it out. Um, you know, this, some of this stuff's from old jobs. Uh, tracking I used to do for a fleet account. Um, obviously my old vape gear and stuff like that. Charger, keychain, promotional keychain that Snap-on gave me. Um, this was a nice clock that used to project the time on a wall. And then old phones. You know, I keep old phones because I actually dropped my phone the other day and I had a phone just like it and I took it apart and used parts off of it. And, uh, started working so got it to work again so that's why I keep these around for a bit and then obviously I usually have some candy in here cough drops gum things like that some uh, foreign money this one's more exhaust check back pressure and things like that here's uh, one of the cans for the fuel injector cleaner I like this can it's smaller um, just random hoses stuff like that Try to always have a kit, a hardware kit, exhaust hardware kit laying around. Good stuff. Gauges, engine vacuum, older engine vacuum gauge, and then a back pressure gauge. And then I use this little tool to uh, find exhaust leaks too. This thing works great, handmade. 
or homemade, whatever you want to call it, shop made. And that's that one. This next one is more for uh, my airbrush stuff, which I haven't really done this year at all too much. Uh, been kind of more mechanical stuff, nothing really custom, no custom big jobs has came in, but still have it, still got it, still works. My old body shop days. Got uh, stuff that comes in some of the kits I have, but I like to keep those. I had way more. Collect everything. Got the famous tape and glue drawer. Good stuff. Um, just a random assortment. You know, any kind of glue you can think of. RTVs, dialectic grease, masking tape, duct tape, scotch tape, double-sided sticky tape, electrical tape. You got mechanics wire. I mean, just about anything you could uh, need in here. Like this drawer. This one, wheel weights for the tire balancer. Yep, I keep this in a drawer because I feel like it and I want it. The tire balancer is only right there, so it's just a step away, you know. And I, there's really, those things fill up quick that they have on there. I don't have the greatest model. I don't really, I'm not a tire shop, but I got a dedicated drawer to it because I want it like that. This next side, a couple of these drawers hasn't changed much from before. Extra extensions, you know, three eighths, half inch, quarter. This is a newer quarter, the uh, Wobble Plus for a quarter. I got this in the Hot Tools. My sticker collection. Got to get a, uh, got to get a race car. I got two of, two of each. We'll load up a, load up a race car with it. Torque sticks that I don't use too much anymore. I just use the uh, universal one, but I still have them in case I do. Extra ratchets, Snap-on, Craftsman, Husky, all the good ones, ones that I, I, I never liked, like these smaller Craftsmans, some older Torque ones when you got to get down and dirty, and uh, you know I ain't going to put my other one in there, quarter inch. Some of these I got on special too, can't pass up a deal when you see it. These are, you know, you can never have too many ratchets. Great stuff. Huge breaker bar, smaller breaker bar, another half inch uh, torque wrench, this weird thing. Pittsburgh stuff in there. Some speedy wrenches, good stuff. Little thumb, thumb wrenches. You got the uh, pickup tool, mirror, Magnifying, help me seeing, grabbing parts when you drop that 10 millimeter. Sometimes they get them out, sometimes they're gone forever. Little trans stopper tool. I think I got this OTC. That's obviously their color green. You got the uh, universal dipstick. I, I like to, uh, I actually laminated these to kind of get the rough estimate, checking some of these uh, sealed transmissions. Um, tech angle, tech angle, tech angle. I got the, uh, this one's the new, one of the newest ones. Got the quarter inch one. I store them with the batteries out of them and just put them in every time I use them. And then I got the three eighths and half inch. And those. Torque book wheel, for wheel hubs. Get torque specs on some of the older cars. Before computers, fellas. Before the internet was huge. We were putting CDs in those computers to get small data. Still got the tape, or still got the glove and uh, shop rag drawer, or microfiber towels rather. You got my Kevlar sleeves in here and all that stuff when you're getting around that hot exhaust. A um, lot of work gloves though, jersey gloves, snap-on gloves, uh, gloves I use for tires. I got real dirty ones I use for the dirtier jobs and then I got the cleaner ones I use for the cleaner jobs and I got dirty hands. Little gloves with magnets on them. You could stick, uh, you know, hardware. When you're wearing them, you can stick hardware to your, the top of your hand. Pretty cool. All types of gloves and rags in here. Things get messy. This next one's kind of like the welding, and then some of the, some of the jobs, the runoff jobs I had. Um, that's for the spray gun, water separator, regulator, some of the little bits when I'm doing body work and all that stuff. Some parts for my motorcycle that I still got to get around to do. Gasket, 
So you can make your own gaskets when you can't find them or can't get them. It's just welding gear. Some other random stuff. Files, punches, chisels, little plastic uh, pry tools, pickle fork. Good stuff. All types of files, small, big. You got these little uh, grabber things, inner tie rod, great for inner tie rods. It's a nice seal puller I got from Snap-on a few months back. Works pretty good. I've used a smaller one. Precision wrenches, tiny tool kit. Wrenches and pliers. This next big one on the bottom half is still kind of my, uh, still kind of a catch drawer for the newer tools. Um, I have obviously sockets in here because we haven't got around to doing the socket drawer yet. So these are still kind of waiting for a home. Some of this stuff's probably going to stay in here. This will probably end up being just a, uh, maybe an extended socket drawer. We'll see. But some of the old box camera gear stuff, um, battery stuff, fuses for the multi-probe. I bought the whole, the whole pack of them. Obviously a throwaway camera. I don't want to stick an $1,800 camera in a dirty motor, so got that one. Noise vibration, you guys seen that in videos. Great tool. I'll always like it when I break out that one. Or the chassis ears that I've done reviews on or tools in action on. So, lay feet. These are nice too. These 3 8 uh, it's got the swivel connected to it. You put any socket on it. Great tool. Picked those up about a year ago. And then some other stuff that I got on that mega tool haul I haven't got around to uh, finding a home for yet. Got the uh, brake pedal depressor, steering wheel holder, whatever you want to use it for. Some first aid stuff, a manual, the owner's uh, manual for the toolbox. This next one's obviously uh, shrink tube, you know, wire holder, self-tapping screws. A lot of shrink tube, AC stuff, I think more AC stuff, seals, you never know when you got the seals, I got metric and standard, um, the hose repair assembly kit, that's, a, that's an add-on to another kit I have, some electrical stuff, some extra Dremel stuff, sewing kit, yes sewing kit, you've seen it, you heard it, I use it, it's there, it's in the box, fuses, some diamond bits, things like that, precision screwdrivers in there. Head on this side. This drawer, guys, made for pens. Made for pens and paper. This is kind of your paper drawer. Epic did this design for pens and paper. That's why I put it in there. You know, these pens make me the most amount of money. You know, this is where a job starts. I write it up, and that's what I use, a pen. Um, some of these pens are super old and probably don't work anymore, but I don't have time to go through them. So a lot of paper. I got a clipboard back here, all that good stuff. I take notes when I'm diagnosing cars. Got my paper here. Whatever's not in the uh, diagnostic cart, I'll go here if I drop my pen or lose my pen. Getting into the bodywork side of things. Sandpaper drawer. Uh, not just for bodywork, obviously, you know, shave that gasket, residue off, you know, the water pump you're doing, things like that. Got a drawer for it, but it's nice to have kind of all the grits you need. I used to have this drawer real organized into grits and colors and all that stuff, but haven't had time. Fiberglass, got my fiberglass drawer and uh, putty I use for molding when I'm you know making a mold for fiberglass or whatever. Got some 3M strip caulk, great stuff. I really like this stuff. Hardener, I got the woven and uh, ripped kind and just some chip brushes, things like that, paint stirs. This one I got in, uh, this is a nice drawer, deep drawer, but just kind of a runoff of some of my body stuff. I keep the uh, coolant tubs in here. I don't really use anymore too much. I do, but I don't. I use that snap-on filler now. Uh, safety drawer, got my dust mask, my respirator, knee pads, ear protection, eye protection, all that good stuff in this one. Getting over to this side, <clears throat> I got some my older screwdrivers that uh, and picks and precisions that I still like to use. So got a drawer for it. All organized nut drivers, things like that. What I haven't taken home yet, but 
every day is changing so they slowly transition out for better and or back if I need them some electrical stuff battery testers um, you know DVOM wiring memory saver that I'll be uh, showing you guys how to make alligator clips test leads starter bump all that good stuff spark plug tester My measuring drawer, still a great drawer. Kind of going into this thing for uh, a couple things, but measure pad, depth gauge, show customers. It's a nice calibration tool. Get your angles with that. You can use that for a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, just, uh, you know, drum, mic, ro I got rotor mic, all that good stuff in here. You got the heat gun, the bigger soldering gun, we get that heavy stuff. Or you need heat quick, a couple uh, timing lights, grinder, a plug-in drill, inner tie rod tool, GM tool, grease gun, a handheld grease gun. And then more, uh, you know, custom subwoofer box stuff and, uh, you know, stuff that I haven't gotten into recently. But uh, still need the tools, tie down straps. I do it all. All right, guys. Got the next overhead. We got uh, blow molded cases back here, most of them. Um, got the Fest tool here. Got to get some more of these great tools. But uh, Texas Twister, obviously. Got the uh, hub tamer back there. Got slide hammer. Um, got some wheel chocks. You got that. Uh, Hard hat, head protection, when you keep bumping your head on the rack all day. But no, I, I got it I got it out of a uh, a car that I bought and I liked it because it's got skulls on it. So I kept it around. Don't want to smash my head on those rack arms when I'm trying to weld an exhaust. Oil funnel kit, great kit. Got my welding uh, helmets. Finally found a spot for the uh, all the snap-on kits, you know, leak down kit oil, compression, vacuum, I labeled them all. So kind of know what I'm looking at. All those boxes look the same, but they stack really nice, decent. Snap on welding helmet. And then I got the drill kit underneath there. We got the Vantage there. We got the master fuel line and then the new AC detector I got. Finally found a home for it. Looks nice, this one turned out nice. All labeled, easy to see. So that's that overhead. Getting down into the main box. I'll just show you guys the socket drawer. I mean, it looks better than it has, but we got to get into this one, guys. We definitely got to. Uh, we definitely got to figure out what we're going to do with the socket drawer. And I got more sockets to come too, so it's. Uh, I'd like to get all my sockets in one place. But that's the socket drawer. Goes all the way back. Got sockets in there too, up front. And then one of my favorites here, obviously the wrench drawer. Love the way this one turned out. These are obviously my main drawers. When I bought this box, I wanted to make sure that I had the long boxes on every single one of them for this reason, to fit everything in one drawer. This is coming along great. Obviously screwdriver drawer, guys. Real nice. I was able to keep the... Uh, Original cases for those. Another one of my favorite, the pliers drawer. All that red. If it's red, it's snap-on pretty much. Vice grips. This one turned out good, and I still got room to grow. I kind of uh, consolidated some stuff here. And I could also put another rack in the middle there for the shorter handle guns. Getting into kind of random stuff but got the bits the hot glue keep my batteries in here the uh, key fob batteries kind of try to hold on to any battery in, you know between double a triple a um, you know DC a B all these crazy batteries I try to have at least one of each if it's car related quick disconnects kind of an assortment what's not in a kit got some uh, saws there 
if they're still good, I'll throw them in there. Allen keys, tap and dies, you know, just random drill bits and things like that. I got some old flare tools there if it's a tight area or if I still need it. Not so much recently though. Solder section there. These little trays are nice to uh, organize stuff. Got the real long bits here. Getting into those air boxes. This next one. Next one's obviously oil filter. You got my uh, wire brushes, another disconnect tool. Hammers. Got the air, some air chisels back there. Brushes, all that good stuff. These are real nice. I like these uh, wire brushes, the wheel kind with the rubber on there. And finally the air drawer. Get into this one pretty much less and less. Using battery powered stuff, I'll still use the 3 8 ratchet. Obviously the grinder. Um, I'll bust out the one horsepower grinder sometimes. Um, the air hammer, good stuff like that. Still got the uh, JRC rebuild, looking good, all cured up now. Broke that out the other day. And we got the power drawer. All filled up with Milwaukee and Snap-on only. Actually, I got a DeWalt plug-in down there, but half inch, all the chargers set up. I try to switch out the batteries, got the extra, keep them plugged in, not keep them plugged in. Real nice one, CT761, obviously, guys. I use the, uh, the buffer a lot for those wheel hubs. And then, obviously, the Milwaukee Stubby is some of my favorite here. This uh, grinding wheel, pretty nice one, but it uh, starts off kind of slow. I gotta, still got to get used to using that. And then I got some extra batteries. Haven't got around to open them yet because I got enough, but can never have enough, really. Right. Getting into the next overhead. Some more uh, label stuff. Um, obviously, I got some blow molded cases in the back. I got the uh, old snap on brick, obviously. Still lo love that scanner. I'll never get rid of that. Um, I got a, a modus case there with all the extra fittings in there. Um, the OBD1 and all that stuff. Some of the wires. I'm wireless now, so I don't really need it. I don't really use it. The mini ductor. Um, this is a dormant fuel repair line. I'm actually going to do a video on this one. Napa sent me this on a promo. Real nice kit, real expensive kit. Got the Tech 2. Break out on those Saab GMs. Got a uh, battery powered grease gun, I think made by Lincoln. Nice grease gun. That strut compressor for that uh, Mercedes. Heavy, heavy tool. Uh, coolant adapters. And then we got the coolant barrier over here. Got my old uh, books back there. Some uh, fender covers, kneeling pad. Got a shipping blanket in here that I like to use for fender covers or if I got to protect some parts or a section of a car, whether I'm doing body work or repair, what have you. All right, getting into this uh, left locker. Still got the uh, Ninja Stars because I'm a mechanic by day, Ninja by night. Got the uh, some drill bits, more drill bits. I got some uh, wire brush kit. This one's just a torque, torque and uh, Allen kit. This one is a uh, another funnel kit here. And then we got the, uh, I think this is a piston tool, I wanna say. No, I gotta label these, yeah, piston tool. I still got some labeling to do. But you can see, I neatly color coded them. Keep the blues with the blues. I got the uh, top down mini right here. Got the hydraulic tool and obviously uh stand uh cool and pressure tested and then some pulley pullers and uh, a lot of random stuff i like to keep together you kind of use these tools all in one you got power steering puller and all that stuff let's get this door open this next one i got uh, a lot of extra stuff snap-on coolant system pressure tester um, Got a US General adapter set, uh, Mako ball joint kit, full kit, exhaust tools, compound meter, battery tester, all that good stuff. 
random bits. Got the amp pound grade tool. We got the uh, caliper turn in tool. A uh, spring compressor I needed for some BMW job. And then some other random tool, brake tool spat down there. And then down here, you got no light, but some power probe stuff, Lyle stuff, AC stuff. Got my chassis ears down here. A lot of this stuff I showed you guys from the last one. Um, this is a new one, the uh, relay kit. This is the deluxe relay test kit. Nice, nice kit. I like this one. It's got the full kit. And then we got another great tool here, the snap-on coolant refill. We got the extended power leads for power probe, gold tip. More power probe, Lyle stuff. Um, got tools for the motorcycle, Chrysler harmonic balancer, um, all that good stuff here. Stepper bits, we got that socket set for the filters, long range harmonic balancer installer and remover, I believe, or just installer. This next one, another great tool, this MACO, the relay bypass. You can put the amp clamp on there and then turn it on and off. Good for multiple things. And then we got the uh, stupid Triton broken spark plug. God, I never, I hate using that tool. We got the alternator, the decoupler tool, and then just some uh, random stuff that uh, company sent me. Torx, good set. Um, they sent me some triple squares, and, uh, some long metric Allen. Um, Hex e Torx, another great uh, company here. Calhawk USA, got the E-Torx inverted, nice kit, definitely built well. Tire lock kit, gear wrench belt tool, um, a valve spring compressor that I actually found and it didn't work on a head job I did. Um, extractors, specialty sockets, good stuff. Next one, thread chaser. We got uh, this is the relay buddy. I got a Noid light set, another blue point set. Some of this stuff I'd like to do on giveaway, guys. Up and coming. Subscribe. We'll get some of these tools off to you. I don't know why I have some of them. This one's a nice wheel lock kit. You got some uh, Audi, BMW, Mercedes uh, axle sockets. Good stuff. Uh, race and bearing driver set. next one got a uh, coolant pressure tester that I use for uh, pushing <laughs> lately I've been using to push uh, brake fluid down into the master cylinder those full-size GM's body hammer kit got a cheap uh, tap and die and then the flan fan clutch tool made by Lyle Lyle makes some great tools the door I got some uh, acid brushes, some extra wire brushes, cookies, all different kinds of grits. I got the grinding wheels, sawzall blades, the 3M rubber, green, I like the green best. And then some more cookie, runoff cookies, can never have too many. And then I keep my gloves here. We got the workstation. Obviously, you guys, this is my main uh, main office here. I'm sure you guys see this in my videos. In the background, I'm always working out of this thing. But got my computer and laptop here. Got the ultra wide, obviously, good stuff. Wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, wireless mod, wireless calculator. <laughs> Keep all my lights up here on this tray. Uh, Another good tablet, Windows tablet. I've actually uh, programmed cars with that one. Got my rechargeable battery station here. My little iPod station with the pad, pod, and phone. <laughs> iPhone. 
Um, got my little uh, radio here. I'll be making a little section for that sooner or later. Got to get around to it. A lot of guys asked me how I mounted these uh, Streamlight bases for the uh, charger, and I just use zip ties, guys. Just zip tied it on through. Use a heavy gauge zip tie, run it through the holes and back. They're on there pretty solid. Got the old version and the LED version. But that's it. Pretty much every plug's taken up. I got plugs in the back that's all taken up. This box uh, consumes a lot of power. Got a little mat, little uh, wrist thing for the keyboard, another little wrist thing for the mouse, wrist pad or whatever they call it. I keep extra paper over here, pens. But that's it. So that's it guys. 2019 Snap-on Epic Toolbox Store by JRC54. Legends say it's the biggest toolbox on YouTube. Who's paying attention though? Like I said guys, you guys see a tool in there? Give me the timestamp. I'll try my best to get you the part number and things like that. Um, I mostly do it organization. Like I said, guys, we'll get those other organization videos out to you guys. We'll do the socket, any other stuff that comes up, show you guys uh, some tips and tricks, things like that, how I keep my tools. You know, organization is key. Quality is key, guys. So as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate it. Signing out.